Empress Guda one, as one God we say, Guda. Hey, the name is Guda, not Kuda. Those of you changing my name, the name is Guda. But all the same, we love you. I love you so much, so I had to bring Sia out this night. Check your time. This night. Kindly share the live. Tap on the screen. Share the live. Share the live. If you have not followed us, follow us right now. Because the things that you want to hear are the things that I am going to ask for you. Let's welcome Sia without wasting my time. Sia, when I all done, how far I did, I did, can't be, I did, can't be. Everything they confirm, give you. Confirm, confirm. How was your weekend? Oh, good. It was great. Yeah. We turn the gods of the land, the Lord of Karma, all the angels, and the Almighty God. You say. All the demons around the world, we thank them too. Say, they are part of the world. Mm. We can't greet without not greeting them. We don't have to hate okay. them because we have no choice. We live with them two, four, seven. <laughs> so any part of the world, all the spirit around the world, the world see her, greetings from the Karma Royal Palace to all Karma Royals around the world. Any part of the world you are, join the live, share the video so that every mortal, every homo sapien, will know what is going on. The fresh news from the spiritual world coming to you that you have to share so that your brother, your sister, your friend, mother, father, everybody will know what is going on. Because the world has changed. It is time we have to listen to what is coming from the spiritual world. Many of the beings' dreams will be explained today. Many of the beings, what they are going through in life that they have nobody to talk to they only communicate with the world seer. We are coming to share all those dreams, all those they experience in their life with the world. So if you have such problem, if you are going through such problem, what you need to do is to do what? Contact the world seer so that we can communicate with the gods from your mother's side, your father's side, so that everything will be successful for you. Join the perfume world. The perfume world is booming big time in the spiritual world. Followers in the perfume world, they are large right now. Karma keeps saying that. People keep joining the perfume world each and every day. What are you waiting for, my brother, my sister? We are living in a new century, a new world. A world that everything is going to be hard. Death will be very simple. Sickness will be very simple. Problem, hardship will be very simple. Financial problem will be very simple. It is not easy again. So join the perfume world so that favor, lack, opportunity will locate you. Many of the beings are living in this world. They don't, they don't have favor. They don't have luck. They don't have opportunity. Their stars are even what off. If you don't have these four things in life, the world will hate you. Mortals cannot do business with you. Whatever you do, nobody supports you. And when you speak, nobody hears you. Even for help, Nobody mind you. You might think the world hates you. Life will not give you any reason for you to smile. So you need to join the perfume world. So that you can remember your dream. Your dream will tell you everything that is about to happen to you in this world. Because your dream is what is telling you what is ahead of you in life. When they say chase your dream, it doesn't mean go carry gun, go bang, go rob. Or go do your yeah, things. Chase your dream. When you sleep, the dream you had, you have to chase that dream. Many of the beings, when they dream, they see themselves going to school. It's one of the baddest dreams that you will face hardship and financial problem. Many of the dreams today will dream, even they, are, they travel to outside abroad. 
even they are in their country, any part of Africa, but they always see themselves in their villages. It's one of the baddest dreams in this world, this century. Those people too also dream, always seeing toilets around them, walking in toilet, doing all those kind of things. It's one of the baddest dreams this century. Spiritual injection is going on in the spiritual world. Spiritual injection is going on in the spiritual world. So when you dream that you are being injected, or your son has been injected, or anybody you know has been injected, don't sit on it. Because dream tells you what is about to happen to you in real life, some time to come. Many of the diabetes we are getting in this world, 99% is a spiritual. That is why doctors cannot hear diabetes. Many of the stroke we are getting in this world, 99% is coming from the spiritual world, from the injection. That is why man born of a woman cannot heal you. Many of the cancer we are getting this century, 99% is coming from the spiritual injection. That is why you cannot get help from any doctor or any herbalist. Many of the hepatitis B and many of the blood pressure, many of the liver problems we keep getting, all those sickness is coming from the spiritual world. Spiritual injection is taking place. The physical world, that was the COVID injection that many of the beings took. Now, the same injection is going on in the spiritual world. So, any part of the world you are, when you dream and you are being injected, don't sit on it. It is not prayers. It is not fasting. If you think you can pray or you can fast to cancel it or break it, as Guda will say, break and loose. My brother, my sister, two, three years to five years to ten years to come, doctor will diagnose you that you cannot get any help again. And that sickness will take you to your grave. No matter how long it will take you to your grave. When it's in the spiritual world, it is very easy for karma, the angels, to heal you. It is very easy for the gods of the land to choose or tell you the kind of tree or leaves that you will need. But if you sit on it for two, three years, or five years, or ten years, and that sickness come out, when doctor will diagnose you, there is nothing you can do again. You just need to buy your coffee. As you are living, definitely you leave the world. So please, spiritual injection is going on. Many of the beings too, they are animals in the spiritual world. So please, try your possible best and cross-check your dark side. Your dark side will tell you what is going on, what is about to happen, the good and the bad, whether you are part of marriage. The reason why life has not been easy with you and your generation. The reason why each and every time you work hard, but money, you know, they stay for palm or account. The reason why you are struggling in life, even though you have struggled to travel to abroad, but still, things are getting worse day by day. All those things you need to cross-check your dark side. Your dark side will tell you what is, is causing that problem. The whole world, I am the only world seer who is doing this job for mankind, Africa, and the world. God will not appoint two seer in this century. The angel and gods of the land will not work with two seer. So I am the only world seer. So any dream that you are facing, Share with the world here so that we tell you the solution and what is ahead of you so that you can set yourself free. Any calamity, any generational curse that is going on in your family, cross check your dark side so that the gods of the land will favor you and remove you and your generation from that abomination, that calamity, so that your lineage, your generation will also have peace in this world. Please. Any part of the world you are, you only need to send your picture and your name. Spiritual checkup is for free. We don't take money. It's for free. When you send your picture, the next 72 hours, you keep asking, checking back for your result. When we tell you your result, you can choose for the karma family to do what? To do your work for you, to assist you in whatever you need to do for your family goals. Or you can choose to give you to any seer or any DBA you believe in. It is not by force 
that when a seer read your dark side for you, the seer have to work for you. It is not by force. So please, any part of the world you are, spiritual rule the world. Spiritual is bigger than physical, and spiritual give birth to the physical. So any part of the world you are, when you think about physical, think about spiritual. Any solution you are looking for in the physical world that you are not getting, cross-check your dark side in the spiritual world. Find that solution and change your generation and enjoy the world to the fullest. I am the world seer and I am the only seer who dines with the moon and the sun. I am the universal seer. The only seer who can tell you what will happen in 72 hours. 24 hours belongs to God. No mortal know 24 hours. The angels, they don't know 24 hours. The earth angels, gods of the land, they don't know 24 hours. The demons, the fairies, the vampires, the aliens, all the spirits around the world or in this world. No one knows 24 hours. Only God. That is why we mortals, we cannot send God. We can only praise God. We can only worship God. We can only sing to God in a happy mood. But you cannot send God. You always have to dine with the gods of your mother's side and your father's side so that they will always protect you in the spiritual world and whatever you do on this earth will be successful so that you can also enjoy the world to the fullest because 70 years is just around the corner for every mortal we are just century being nobody is forever being no matter how long you will be on this earth you will die if your time no reach you no reach me see ya, my time reach i will leave the world somebody too will come Come and live to the kingdom come. So join the perfume world and enjoy the world to the fullest. Cross check your dark side and also know what is about to happen, what is causing the problem, the hardship, the calamity in your family and enjoy the world to the fullest. People keep asking, see ya, there are seven days money you said I wish to bath with it. How do we go about it? Please, listen very carefully. You don't have to put the money in the water for seven days and always be bathing. No. If you bath once in a day or twice in a day, you only use it to bath one. If it's in the morning, you put it in the water, add your perfume to it, say all your wishes in it and bath with it. After that, remove the water, the money from the water, sorry. Remove the money from the water and put it somewhere. By the time they will break again, the money don't dry. The next day, you put them inside again. You remove them to seven days after that seven days, put on somewhere, make it dry. Carry go outside. Buy anything you want to eat. Don't buy alcoholic. Don't buy alcoholic. You can buy Coke, Fanta, or Sprite with it and bread. Or you can choose to buy a sugar-free drink because many of the beans don't like sugar. So sugar-free drink, any part of the world, you can get some. Buy it with it and Eat. Make sure that you finish everything. Because the hardship coming into this world, nobody should blame politicians. Because the politicians themselves, they will be part of the hardship. So they have no option than to steal from the country. So if you are alive, this direction is coming from karma and the angels. They know what is ahead of we, the mortals, that we don't know. So please, bath with any currency. For seven good days. And after that, use the money to buy whatever you want to buy and enjoy it. Be part of this direction. Don't let anybody lie to you. When the world see us speak, you will see some people going underground, they comment, sending their opinion. Don't fall for it. Because they don't know nothing. They don't know the world. That is why they remain poverty till they die. That is why they will be wretched. And die with sickness and disgrace. That is why they will beg and beg and beg. Because as the Bible keeps saying to you people, we don't quote from the Bible, but they have a saying that uh, giving is more reward There's or blessing in it than receiving. Yes. So don't be a beggar. Always try to give so that you also receive those kind of blessings. Don't be a beggar. Always try to also give so that you also receive those kind of blessings. May the gods of the land guide everybody, protect everybody, and do your wishes for you because the gods, they love you, the angels love us. God Almighty love everybody. Let's continue, Guda. I'm done. See, um, see ya. 
This is Karma <coughs> Royal Palace, and our program is Celebrity Dark Side. Um, there's something I want to ask you. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Sia, make you no know vex, I beg. Sia, tithes and offering, are they good to give? I beg, oh, answer this one. Make you no know vex. Good uh, Tithes and offering is very important. So far as you enter church, you have to give. Because it, we, we, it, it's written already. It is written in the Bible that Christians believe in it. Okay. And even though everybody was born to meet those tithes and those offerings, mm -hmm. if you don't enter church, that one is different. Okay. If you don't go to school, how you go to pay school fees? Unless you go to school. Yes. Because those lectures, those teachers, they also need salary. Of course. Because many of the men of God, so they have... Uh, people under them that they feed. Many of the men of God to take care of people's needs. The widows, many of the men of God carry people to school, spend money. So as far as you enter school, uh, orphans, many of the men of God take up some orphans and the street children. If they are not coming online to tell we or to tell you, don't think that uh, many don't do it. Many does it. Many of the men of God to go to prisons to share food water and all those things. All those many men of God take from we the mortars is coming from the tithes and the offering that we give to them. Okay. You see, if men of God will get energy to always preach to the world, if men of God will always get energy to preach the word of God, the wisdom that you want to hear each and every day in the physical world, it depends on the offering and the tithe. So any church, when the members, the followers, they don't pay their offering well and they don't pay their title to well. You will see, say, the men of God or the workers, they are broke. They become broke. So it's very necessary to pay your tithes when you enter church because not all the men of God are fake. Not all the men of God are wicked. And not all the men of God are greedy. So, Guda, why this question now? Mm. One man in Ghana called uh, Adum Chedria, he says that uh, tithe is not good. And I'm like, it's not good like how? I don't understand. So, make I ask you. Because I be, people, they talk, say, when it comes to Ghana, a prophet, you know, go talk. But this one, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, Guda. I don't understand. Guda. Uh, ma, any man of God that will sit somewhere or that will condemn tight paying and offering paying, that person or that pastor is not coming from God. Oh, see. Yes. Because the man of God, you mention his name, he always wants to condemn all men of God in Ghana here. But he's the, the wickedest, the wicked man of God in this century. The baddest thing in Christianity is selling substance to the Christians. Selling things that they should go and bath with it. Selling things that they should take into their tummy, their stomach. Those kind of things are the most dangerous things that nobody should buy from man of God. That one, they will not support you. Any man of God who sells miracle item in his church or any prophetess who sells miracle item in her church don't fall for those people because they are in Christianity to make money. They are not in Christianity to preach or to spread the word of God. Why must you sell? The name Jesus Christ you are mentioning, he is against selling. The name God you are mentioning, he is against selling. So who do you worship? That means you have your own power from one side you are using to capture the mortars, to sell to the mortars, to colonize their brain and get what you want from them. That man of God is not man of God. I pity people of today who they attend that man of God in church, second church of Philadelphia. See, all those people attending those church, they will never be successful in life because they are slaves in the spiritual world to that man of God. They are the beings who will go outside and work hard work hard and come and use the money to buy the substance 
from the man of God. That man of God is sell food. They sell water. They sell sobolo. They sell perfume. He sells so many things. So why won't he condemn that people should not pay tithes again? Because he's nowhere he's making his money from. Whilst other men of God too are not selling anything. They only depend on the offerings and the tithes that people give to them for their prayers and for their hard work under God. So good up. If this man or this old man come outside to speak this such of nonsense on the media, it's nonsense. There is no sense in it. If a man of God preaching, if a man of God preaching finish for moth, now how do they talk? Because that man of God, eh? In the spiritual world, I will call, no, he, he called himself man of God. So I'm giving him that title as man of God. Because the beast under him, the people following him seem to be man of God. We that see him to be a normal person that uses his brain to collect money from the poor people to enrich himself. Buying houses, buying big makers, doing what he wants to do. So if such man come and tell you that this century don't go and pay tithe or don't go and pay offering, he is not making sense. There is no sense in it. Good, there is no sense in it. Many of the men of God, eh, me, I have trust some men of God in Ghana. Eh, they are authors. Eh, if you put tithe or offering there, good, you will see action. Really? Many of the men of God, not all of them, yes. many to have where they dine with, that they have spirits or angels that support the work they are doing for God. So if this man of God is selling almost more than 20 miracle items, why would he come out and tell the, 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 the public and the world that those who pay tight are fools? Because you know where he's getting his money from. One church, when you go there, good at everything you go buy from that church is from the man of God. If in bed, bed self, you go sleep on it, you go pay money. If you want wee wee, you go pay money. Everything you go do under the man of God church, you go pay money. That man of God church in the spiritual world, it don't collapse where you go kill plenty of people. Just what happened to TB Joshua. That's so he did. Because when you try to prove to the world that you are so powerful than the name Jesus or the name God, you are so powerful than the gods of the land and the angels, they will watch you fool. You will fool yourself and fool yourself and fool yourself. A time will come, say, you will speak to the public, you are not making sense. Everything you are speaking to them, there is no sense in it. Now, so the gods are ruling him. Now, so the gods go teach him sense. So, if this man of God come out to tell the public that those go to church, there is no sense in it for them to pay tithes. See, my brother, my sister, I pity people who attend this second chance Philadelphia church in Ghana here. And people who also leave their country, fly all the way and come here to attend this church. And people in our blood who follow this wicked man's teaching. This uh, Christian stammer. Those who follow him should be very careful. Guda, See, Guda, we know the truth. We know where the light is. And we know where we are going. Oh, I am not in to destroy Christianity. Yes, yes. The only way I can't destroy Christianity. I, I, I always tell the public that go to church. But when you go to church, make sure that you feed the gods from your mother and your father's side too. Because the Caesar and the Kaza walking that God was talking about. That's what he did. Give what belongs to Caesar to Caesar and give what belongs to Kaza to Kaza. But men of God in this century always are telling the homo sapiens that they should bring everything to them without them feeding the gods from their mother's side and their father's side. That is what I always speak against. But go to church. Yeah. Going to church is not a bad thing. Me like this. If you know this because of online service, I always I go go church. But right now, if I carry, I go Facebook or I go any part of the uh, the YouTube. Plenty of men of God they preach for there. Mm. Preaching anywhere you day, you go feel this thing. Yes. Right now, Momo day, anywhere you day, you go feel transfer money for your offering or your tithe. Mm. Man of God go collect. I know they speak against those things okay. because it need to be done. Men of God also feed from their hard work, the service they give to God and the public. So if they chop from that kind of thing, I good. I know the sub. I know the. Okay. I know that against it. Yeah. But for an old man at your age, who knows the truth? Because you want everybody, all churches in Ghana to collapse. For he only, he church should stand, so that everybody will come under him. For him to stand on his pulpit, open your mouth that people who pay tight. 
There is no sense in it. You are rather speaking senseless, man of God. So change your preaching so that we will not attack you on the media. Because this time around, no police will stand for you because the police all they know that you are doing nonsense, man of God. Nonsense preaching you are preaching. Would I carry on? See ya. Calm down, calm down. Hey, see ya, what's the difference between this uh, uh, Adum Chedria and Jeremiah? Because it's like they all sell things in the church. But I think this one is better. Jeremiah is better. Uh, Jeremiah and Adum Chedria in Ghana, yeah. They are all thieves. <laughs> they are thieves in Christianity. No one is better. They are all thieves. Any man of God who sells in church is a thief. Man of God, you can only sell books because knowledge is the power. Knowledge is power. And uh, the power of knowledge, everybody needs it. Because many of the men of God, they preach wisdom. So if they can turn that wisdom into book, me, I'll go and buy some and read. But buy substance that this one will drive away witches. This one will drive away this and this. is a fake lie. Because your gods, your family gods, no man of God miracle item can drive away your family gods from you when they are ready to strike on you. When Amadioha is ready to strike on you, who is uh, Jeremiah? When Antoniama is ready to strike on you, who is Adum They are all used to brain to feel from the old people who don't know anything. Good, huh? Many of the blacks in this century, sorry to use the word, they are fools. Few people are wise in Africa right now. That's why we keep always preaching to them that the name Jesus Christ, you can follow that name. But if you want to dine with that name, you will be the most poorest being on this earth. You will be a beggar. Your disgrace will be large because always they have a saying that Christians might face challenges in life. So how for how long are you going to face these challenges in life? 70 years is just around the corner. If you are young, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, you don't buy land. That means you don't even come again. No. Many of the bills will not even reach the age 50 years when they will buy leave the world. How many of the bees will reach 70 to 80? The new world. The fastest world. How many of the bees will reach to that age? So we are century bees. We, have long, we don't have long life right now. We don't have long life. Today, today, somebody they play with, somebody they communicate with, somebody you speak to, the next day, they will call and say, you don't buy. Who are you going to ask? Who are you going to blame? You only see your tears. The next day, you don't get a bar. Ogbono soup, you don't eat, forget. People go die, people go go funua, that they people will go fight over food and drink because they don't care about where you are going. So, Guda, what the man of God is saying, there is no sense in it. So, when you enter church, pay your tithes and pay your offering because there is blessing in it. I will not tell anybody that don't do it. I can't stop anybody not to do it. Guda, I know the truth. That's why I always speak the truth to my people. When you dine with a man of God, feed your family go to. Simple. And enjoy the world to the fullest. Because they have a saying that plenty meat, not the spoiled soup. Uh, see, uh, um, there's this guy, Mackenzie. The last time you brought out his dark side. But there's one guy on the media um, attacking him. He says that <clears throat> I think he took a lot of things that belong to them. But me, my fear right now is they say when you talk about Mark Angel right now, you go buy. Anybody that has mentioned his name in the Bible, you go buy. So see, please, I beg. Uh, I don't want to make anything happen to you. So it's okay. You let's forget about it. Ah, good. Uh. Let's go. Who go talk about Mark Angel? Where you go buy? Me the world see ya. Mark Angel, I don't say in dark side give him a long time ago. I said that young man, if you not try to dine with the ghost from the papa side and the mama side, the darkness on him. Big money is about to locate him. When that money locates him, the outcome will be baddest. The biggest platform will bring it out. So they put that one aside. I like his comedy and the way he always trained the young ones to also see life and enjoy life. But the guy attacking Mark Angel. You see, there are some people in this world, they are not part of money. When you work with somebody and the person make money, the person not mind you, or the person not give you some. Go somewhere and find out the reason why that this thing happens to you. But you would rather come on the media thinking that you are disgracing uh, Mark Angel. You are trying to bring him down. You are trying to collab, 
uh, the young man comedy or the skit he's making, there is no sense in it. So you, the boy, let me tell you your dark side. There are people in this world, in the spiritual world, they are wearing poverty, which is hard, hardship dress in the spiritual world. Those poverty being eh, they can go and work with people for the people to become rich, for them to settle them. But before they will settle them, something will happen. So it's like the guy is not part of money. The guy is not part of money. He needs to go and cross-check in that side before coming out to attack Mark Angel. When we cross-check in that side, he is not part of money. His family is owing in the spiritual world. He like made the whole world follow him right now. He will not make nothing on the media. So wasting your time to come and disgrace my angel that when people speak about him, the people will buy. He is not doing this, he's not doing my friend. Go and cross check your dark side and clear the debt from the family you are born into. Because your family is owing in the spiritual world. So you are not part of money, my friend. That is why I keep saying, whatever happened to you in this life, between you and your boss, or between you and your colleague, or between you and your friend, physical world, it has happened. But cross-check your dark side. The reason why something happened to you. Why did Mark Angel not give you a part or you not mind you? All those things coming from the boy in mama and in papa's side. So coming on the media to speak against him, nobody will mind him. He's just wasting his time. Is that all you have to tell the guy? That is the truth. Gouda, whatever will happen to you in the physical world, go and cross-check the spiritual world and know the reason why it happened to you. Because spiritual give birth to the physical. And spiritual is bigger than physical. There is no way physical can ever rule the spiritual. So he needs to go and cross check in that side before coming out to speak against Mark Angel. The young man is making money. The young man is enjoying life. You are also sitting somewhere with your poor life explaining things you don't even know. You can't bring him down with that. So he needs to go and cross check in that side before coming out to speak. That is all. Thank you. See ya. Um, the last time we had our, our program, someone went under the comment to write that, Kaba President, good evening, sir, please. I dreamt someone is giving injection to my son. My son, private part. Please, sir, what can I do? Please, sir, in the name of God, in the name of Kama God, sir, please help me. I'm your fan from Sierra Leone. See ya. Somebody injecting the child from the private part, and it's a boy, son. Good really what? Really what? Uh, many understand. of the many of the demons who inject beings in the spiritual world, many come with other faces. You might think it's the little boy, but when you go into it, it could be the mother herself, because when you are being injected in the spiritual world, it will not take place very fast. It can delay for more than five years to ten years. It depends on your age. Oh my God. Then one day, one day, doctor will just diagnose you with a sickness that you don't you don't know. And many of the family too, they have this kind of injection in the family. That when you are growing up, definitely, especially many of the family have diabetes injection. Many of the family have stroke injection. Many of the family has cancer injection. Many of the family has HIV injection. That generation will come into this world. You will dream one day that you are being injected. The day the demons will raise that family injection in the spiritual world, where they will inject anybody from the family, the sickness will take place. So many of the family has this family injection that somebody mm. will say that my father has diabetes. So it's a family lineage. No, it's not a family lineage. It's a curse that you need to clear yourself from it. Because the injection is in the family. The sickness is in the family. So 99% of those sickness comes from the spiritual world. It's not a physical world. So if you are from 35 going to 40 and you have uh, diabetes, with that, don't sit down there that it's, it's normal. It is not normal. It's not normal. You have been injected. And spiritual injection to few people that they see them. Plenty of the see them. Because plenty know they remember their dream. And plenty too, they don't even dream at all. So it's just like you are blind. And somebody is stealing what somebody is stealing you. You are blind though. Somebody is stealing you. Take it from you. You can't see. 
So many beings are blind in their spiritual world. So whatever the demons or the vampires are doing to them, they can't see. Unless they break, unless doctor will confirm to them one day that you got HIV, you have hepatitis oh B, you have cancer, or stroke, or this and this, or a liver problem, or kidney failure. All those injections is coming from the spiritual world. That is why it is very important to remember your dream. That is why we keep sending messages to the world that everybody, every homo sapiens around the world, try your possible best, enjoy the perfume world so that you can always know the baddest thing the demons are bringing to you in the spiritual world. When you wake up, you can work on it and enjoy the world to the fullest because spiritual sickness, no man born of a woman can heal you, you will die with it. No doctor can heal you. Right now, go to our blood and see. Many of the blacks, they are animals in the spiritual world. Because many of the blacks are sick with this kind of sickness. But they think doctors can heal them. Diabetes in our blood right now. 80% of the blacks in our blood, they have diabetes. Those in Africa, they have diabetes. Uh, cancer is going on in the spiritual world. Spiritual HIV is going on. Uh, liver problem is going on. Kidney problem is going on. All those sickness is coming from the spiritual world. But you might think it's a physical world. No. No matter how it is physical, we have medic, correct doctors. If you have money, you will live long. They will take care of you. You see? But if it's coming from the spiritual world, doctor cannot heal you. Any orthodox medicine they will give you will just sustain you for a few years or a few months. Then you leave the world. So tell the woman to send herself and the son she's picture alive. She's watching. so that we'll go into it what I, is herself or is truly the son that the demon was injecting self dream could be the mother herself but they will use the son as a picture as an image so she needs to be fast hmm. don't sit on it because when it comes out nobody can help you you will rather waste money those are the sickness if you own properties you will sell all your properties thinking that you can heal yourself. Before you realize that you will become the most poor person on earth. Then you will be a beggar. People or a person who they live in mansion will now be sleeping in single room. Single room. Oh. That's what it is. Spiritual sickness will drain everything that you work hard for. So this century, only the world see have access to the spiritual world that can tell you the truth, what is about to happen. You speak from the dreams. And all the dreams two human beings or mortals are having is real dream. Don't joke with it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, please, I'll be putting out the numbers soon for you to call. But let me talk about one or two things. See, a lady <clears throat> said that she is one of eight children. But seven are gone. They are dead. Mm -hmm. It's left with only her. And she's the only one who was able to try, like, struggle to go abroad. Said she was born in Accra. She never went to their village till she traveled. So she doesn't know where they really come from. I think and now the mother too is gone. After the father died, the mother too is gone. So she has two children. They don't want to see her face at all. She doesn't really know why. But when she sleeps, no, she slept and dreamt that somebody gave her an injection. Months later, she has been falling sick continuously. When she went to the hospital, she was diagnosed of a very strange illness. And she said that she needs your help. And she doesn't even understand why the children don't want to see her. The children don't want to see her at all, at all, at all, at all. But she gave birth to them there abroad. Mm -hmm. See her. Why? They don't want to see their mother. The woman who is now Buddha, sick. We keep saying that many of the mortars, the gods from their family side we always put them into pains in so many ways. Many people, the gods can remove their face from their children's face that their children know they see, say, even they, they, their mama be this. May they respect her, may they feed her or help her. Many too, when coffee is following them in the spiritual world, they are ghosts. So nobody regard or respect them or tolerate whatever they do or what they say. So all those things is coming from the spiritual world. And right now she has been diagnosed with an illness that she's seen that this illness cannot get, she cannot Cure. get her yes. cure. Yes. That'd be how you do. You go, go check. Many of the injection, when you are being injected in a spiritual world, the coffee begins to follow you. Because some of the injections are poisonous. You cannot heal yourself. So the soul in you is already gone. 
or the soul in you is already been buried in your spiritual world. So left with the body that will one day go off or quiet, then they will bury the body too. So she needs to send her picture okay, okay. and her name so that we cross check in the spiritual world what is going on the wrong. It, all this is coming from the family side, the girls on the mother side. This is not something that you need to hate your children. If your children is not taking care of you, don't sit on it. Don't blame your children. Cross check your dark side and know the reason why your children is not taking care of you. By the time you will go see, demons have been taking their mother face up to hunt them in the dream. So they will go see some pastor. And the pastor will go tell them, your mama be witch. Far broad, pastor far broad goes. Oh, they go tell them. I be men of the the men of God. Many of them don't speak from the spiritual world. The men of God they speak from the, the physical world. What you will tell man of God? Now, he man of God go sit inside and by set time and can't tell you say this and this and this. That's what I'm telling you. The woman needs to send her picture and her name okay. so that we find out okay. what is going on. Because many of the gods will make your child become rich on physical or on land, but they will not allow that child to take care of you or respect you. Oh, now? now, so they will put you under stress. And that child too, when he reach in old age, now the same thing they will do him too because it will be a generational curse and a generational lineage. Oh, God. See, I'm very sad. Ah. Uh, this one is uh, Bra Robert. He's in Kuwait. He has been in Kuwait for more than 30 years. He said he works very hard and receives good salary. Anytime he collects his salary, there will be some problem, one or two problems in his family mm. that he needs, that needs his attention. So it's like he will collect the money and then go and sort the problem out. By the time he finishes, all the money will be gone. Mm. He wastes all the money. He dreamt that a dog bit him. Dog bite. So after that, he generated some problem with the leg. Gradually, the leg had to be operated upon. Now he can't even stand to work because his work demands you standing till you close. Right now, he can't stand to work. So they said he has a broken bone. Though they have done mm. the operation, he can't do anything. He can't stand and work. Right now, the company says that there, there will be no need of him, so he should go back to his country. See ya. He said, see ya, I need your help. I see. need CS help. Guda, tell Sia to help me. See ya. See ya, this Guda, is sad. I keep saying that oh. whenever you dream, don't sit on it. Hmm. You see, when dog bites you in the spiritual world, that moment, the moment you follow up, the moment you alert the world see ya, the angels, the gods of the land, they know the demon who is doing that. They will tell you the kind of tree or the leaf that you will need. The sacrifice and the ritual you need to do. So that that dream will not come to physical. Run out dog, don't bite you. Well, your bone don't rot it inside in the spiritual world. How can you get hell? With that, this kind of thing like this, we cannot promise you 100% that we can do it for you to get hell. No, I will, I will tell the no, truth. No, no, like I'm just because sad. whenever it's in a spiritual world, it's very easy to be cured. It has come out already. It has come out already now. Or tracing has been down on it. Still, still the leg is so you see, many of the beings, this century, when you dream and see snake, whether snake bites you, or you take your eyes and see snakes, don't sit on it. Find a seer or a DBR and know the reason why you close your eyes, you dream and see snake. Because when snow bites you, it's time for sickness. No man born of a woman can heal you. When you oh see snake gosh. too in this century too, it's time for hardship. Don't let anybody fool you that when you see snake, it's good luck. This century, when you dream and see dog, when dog bites you, it's time for sickness. An illness that no man born of a woman can heal you. And when dog do not bite you, when dog chase you in your dream, or when you even see dog, it's time for hardship and problem. Hardship and migration and police problem. This century, when you see dog and your blood, and you be dreaming seeing dog, you will get police or migration issue that nobody can help you. This century, when you dream seeing cats, cats in the spiritual world, people that dream and see cats, do you know that problem? See, I, they, to, I have one problem like that. I beg, <laughs> please, I beg. Why? Let, because he is on the line. He will be listening. So please, let me ask 
he's questing for. Um, someone said, uh, okay, Valentina said, good evening, Walt's here, and good evening, Queen Guda. May God bless you for you. Okay, he said, um, she has completed the dipping of the money in the water today and used the money to buy bread and coke as you instructed. So what else should she do? That is all. It's a direction. Oh, After okay. finishing for the seven days, you have to spend the money and okay. eat with it. That is all. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Whatever dreams you have, we can continue with you. So in the spiritual world, this same true. When you see cats in your dream, see people that dream and see cats, do you know that problem? They always forget themselves. Cats. Cat. This same tree. When a cat not bites you and you see cat in your dream all the time, eh, you always forget yourself. Any money that you make, your sense will not even tell you to invest or to save some, or to think of tomorrow, or to think of future, mm. or to think of old age. But people will sit online that the world here is lying. But that is the same thing happening to mortals that they don't know. So this century, protect yourself in the spiritual world. Join the perfume world so that your soul will be strong. Many of the beings, because that they have weak soul in the spiritual world, when they are going to give the injection, they can't open their mouth and say no. They will stand there and they will give them injection. Mm. Many of the beings, because they have weak soul in the spiritual world, when they are giving them food to eat, they can't say no. They will open their mouth and they will be eating the food. Many of the beings, because they are weak, their soul is weak, when they are giving them meat, Red meat in the spiritual world, they will be eating it. They can't say no to it because their soul is weak. They can't control their soul in the spiritual world. They can't control their soul. So demons can feed them with sickness and as time goes on, the illness will come out that doctors cannot heal you and you'll be going to hospital, wasting all your hard earned money on drugs, on medicine, on hospitals, but still you don't have peace of mind. So don't sit down there and say that uh, God will you to redeem. Mm. This century, if you sit down and based on God will you to redeem, my brother, my sister, you will be the biggest fool in the eyes of mortar. The beggar, you will be the beggar in the eyes of your family. You will be the beggar in the eyes of your people. So any dream that you have, that you come across, if only you remember, write it down. Find a CR or a DBR. And communicate with that person to help you do the needful things and enjoy the world to the fullest. Because nobody wants to die young. If you nobody wants to die old age, the world is stay young. This world is not coming to an end today or tomorrow. Mm. So don't let any man of God tell you that end time, there is no end time today or tomorrow. Nobody should inform you that end time is coming today or tomorrow. There is no end time yet. The world is stay young. If you don't know, I'm telling you today. See, ya, this one loud, oh, this one on uh, Facebook, uh, this thing, oh, let me read it for you. He said, I dream, I dream seeing a successful businessman I really admire working with me and was about to give me money. But a friend of mine collected the money from the rich man. Hey, hey, wait. See, ya. you see, why, why now? Good day. Many of the beings ah. in physical world, they are poor beings. In physical world, they have nothing. But when you dream, see celebrity, a life celebrity who is alive. Yes. When you dream, see yourself with rich beings yes. who are alive. When you dream, see yourself with billionaires, trillionaires around the world, it means you need to work on yourself because you are part of those groups. Okay. Why did the person come you need to work on yourself. That is why dreams speaks a lot. Dreams tell us what we need to do. Because the hardship you are going through, you will dream seeing yourself with Dan Gote, dining with Dan Gote. You will dream seeing dining with Osei Kwame Despite. You will dream seeing dining with uh, Bill Gates. You will dream seeing dining with Elo Max. You will dream seeing that with musicians like Rick Cross, uh, Bernard Boy, David Doe, all those, that to tell you that you need to work on your spiritual side because you are also a billionaire, you are money. So when you dream since those kind of things, don't sit on it and say that I'm praying. Prayer will not change anything. Find a CR or a DBR, let the person put you on the right way so that you can sort the gods from your mother and your father's side and enjoy the world to the fullest. So tell him, 
him or her to work on his spiritual she's side. Wa- she's Otherwise, he will be dreaming and seeing billionaires in her dream, but in the physical world, she will be done with poverty. But why the friend collect the money? That one paid me. Uh, because it means those kind of people that dream that they are giving something valuable to them, key. When they are giving key to you in the spiritual world and somebody collect that key, now your success. When they are giving money to you in the spiritual world, somebody collect that thing, now your success. Because many of the beings, their spiritual side, the gods from their mama or their father's side, no, they mind them. So demons are controlling them in the spiritual world. Demons are following them in the spiritual world. So whatever the demon will destroy in the spiritual world, it will affect them in the physical world. Those are the demons they call spiritual police. They follow you anywhere you go. Prominent people will come your way, they will drive them away. Good suitors that can take care of you and change your entire family and generation, they will drive them away. You don't do them anything, you don't do any bad. A lady said that she dated a rich man because of that rich man. Many suitors came her way, but she never gave them a chance. Because she knows that the man will marry her. She spent 15 good years in a, a, a fiancé relationship with her. 15 good years. When she met the man, she was 25 years. They dated, I will marry you to next year, next year. And now she's what? She's 40 years. The man too not marry her. So at 40, who will come marry you again? You see? Time wasted. 15 years. Time wasted. All those things is coming from their family goals, but you will not believe it. 40 years now, who will come marry 40 years woman? But now your quick marriage, you don't go far. Eh? Your quick marriage, even a car, people will go back car, they go check marriage before they go pay. Which man will come marry you? If God not intervene, or if uh, your, your spiritual side not work for you, which man will come marry you at 40? Because Rana, it is not easy. See this old man self, the one 18 and 19 and 20, when they, when they make money. Oh, wow. If man make money, that man want 18 and 20. But if man need money, that man need 40 and 50. So now, now, now poverty man, you go marry. Because man, you go marry 40, 40 years old man, 45 years old man, that man don't get anything. That man plays to sleep or food he go chop or free pecus. Man, he get money, go go look for somebody chop 20, 22, or 25. That's so the world day. So don't waste your time. Cross check your dark side and know the family you are born into so that things will rise so that you can enjoy the world to the fullest. Many of the beautiful ladies, their beauty are waste. Their beauty are going to waste because they were born into this world to change their family lineage with their beauty. Mm. Many were born with big nerves to change their family lineage. Many were born with big breasts to change their family lineage. Many were born with the beauty to rule and change their family. But the gods will not allow it to happen. At the end, all the beauty will go in waste. Break and loose, people. Yeah, break and loose. <laughs> break and loose. Uh, yeah. I go if you break the gods. Who are you yeah. to break the gods? Uh, please, let me put the number across. Some people say they are going to work and they want to have the number. Um, you call only on WhatsApp voice call. And the number is plus 233-543-721-689. It's on the screen. Plus two three three five four three seven two one six eight nine. Come on, President. Hey, this one loud. Today I'm very sad. The messages are very sad. One Nigerian woman says she lives in Canada, married to her longtime sweetheart. I mean, the, a white man. He came to uh, Nigeria to do one or two things, then he left, they chatted through him, and then he came down to do everything. Then they went. After they got there, the man started falling sick. Everything started going haywire. Everything started scatter, scatter. Everything here and there. But they have two children. No, they have three children. Because of the man's sickness, gradually the man is bedridden. So the woman cannot go anywhere. Mama died, he no fee come. Papa died, he no fee come. 
Anything that happens in Nigeria, he no fee come because if she come, who go take care of the husband? Now she can't even control the children. The kids are wayward. They are doing whatever they like. She no fee control them because they have to go and fend for themselves. The mama, the work that she's doing is not is not going on well. The state is paying the husband because he is a native. You understand? He's an indigent. But the money, not they do anything. It's not like you are doing your own work. See ya. The woman say, what's up? What they go on? The, the man has stroke. She's asking if you can heal the husband and help her. Because she doesn't know what to do. Good day. She has been watching her video too. And I think she's on the live. Good day. See ya. This century, eh? Anybody, if a black man, if you marry to a white lady, cross check your dark side, feed your family goals, mm. otherwise your ending in marriage will be sad. If a woman is married to a white man, a black woman, you are married to a white man, feed the goals from your mother's side and your father's side, otherwise your marriage will end in a sad way. Buddha, all these things the woman is going through, all these things this woman is facing, is coming from the girls from her own family. Because when a black man marry a white lady, mm -hmm. it is a blessing. It is a blessing. So you need to do what? After doing the physical wedding, you need to do the local traditional and feed the family goes to so that the family goes to will bless the wedding. Okay. Otherwise, you and that white lady will go far. One day, something small will trigger. The white woman will leave you. Hey. And when that white man will leave you, everything will change in your life. You can never be the same again. If you are a woman, you marry to a white man, you do white wedding, do traditional. Find a seer or a dibia and feed your family gods to give their share to them so that they also protect the marriage. Oh, okay. Otherwise, one day, hmm. the white man will go broker. The white man will sack you from house or he will divorce you. If the white man will divorce you to her, something bad will happen. Whether some sickness will catch you or something will trigger to you that the marriage self, you will regret marrying a white person. So if I see black people who are marrying white men and white women today, I, I say to myself that they don't know that they are playing with fire. They don't know the consequences in all those things. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Good, good evening. Good evening, good morning. Good evening, Sia. Oh, Sia. Where are you calling from, please, Hello? and your name? Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Hello? Okay, sorry. Please try again. So, Guda, hmm. if you are married to a white person, it is not late. Cross check your dark side and do the needful thing. Otherwise, you will end up in a sad way. Any part of the world you are, it doesn't matter. Hmm. See, there's a call. Hello? It's cross check your dark side. Hello? Hello, Otherwise, good morning. You will end up in a sad way. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Yes. Please, your name and where are you calling from? Kindly you low your. Oh. Why are they. Please, please, before you call, kindly lower your set. Lower your phone. It shouldn't be the same phone that you used to call. So kindly lower your volume. Thank you. Don't listen to yourself. You hear us. See ya. So, sorry. <coughs> you know, right now we are picking calls. So, uh, so good. Uh, it is not late. So if you are a black bean, married to any white beans, feed the gods from your mother's side and your father's side. Otherwise, your marriage will end in a sad way. You will regret. Your marriage will end in a sad way because the African girls will not let you have peace. Your family gods will not give you peace in that marriage. It is not late. If you are married to any white being, white woman or white man, 
do the needful thing to your family goals. Otherwise, your marriage will end in a sad way hmm. with no peace. Ah. See, ya. Huh. even the, the, the dreams that I have, they are even children, children dreams. The ones that they are typing here. Ah, my eyes. Somebody say, greetings to Lord Karma. I'm see, I see myself with almost all the celebrities around the world in my dreams. Messi, Ronaldo, Davido, including big, big pastors. But I think he they were in the and that is what chase your dream. That is what we call chase your dream. Hmm. So no matter what, you have to fight and follow your spiritual side and remove that bondage so that you can become or meet those people and get your breakthrough. Okay. And this <clears> one said, Hello, beautiful Guda and Karma traditional traditionalist. What about dreaming? You dream, she dreamt seeing herself in a white chair holding a staff, but it was up in the sky and it was shining. And the white chair is also shining. The staff is shining, the chair is also shining. And she was holding twins in that dream. What is the meaning? She was holding what? Twins? Twins. Babies. Babies. Yes. Well, twins. Those, those kind of dream, uh, she need to send her picture and her name. Okay. And add a dream to it. Okay. So that karma will explain it well to her. Okay. Because the negative and the positive together. Okay. We can't sit here and select it for her. Oh, okay. Only karma can go deep and explain to her. Okay. The full meaning. Only a spirit who live in a spiritual world can tell you a meaning of some dreams. Mm. So you send your picture and your name, add the dreams to it, we'll get back to you there. Okay. Thank you. So Isha Rosequist, you know the number. The number is on the screen. The first one, the 0505. So you send your, uh, your picture and your name on the 0505. But the one that we are calling right now, the one on the screen right now, the plus 233-543- 721689. That is for only voice calls. Those who want to speak with Sia. Okay, so um, this one also says that I don't used to dream and I can't. I can't. What does it mean? Oh, hello. Please call on only voice call. You make the work in some way. Voice call, no video calls. Don't call on the line. I beg Una. I beg Una. We want to serve all of you. Sia is here to serve you. Kindly abide by the rules. If you call on video, your call wouldn't be picked. Yeah, you'll be blocked. Call on voice call. Thank you. Uh, this one says, Sia, I have been dreaming with celebrity, fe celebrity female one, and yet I'm not married, and business is not moving. moving. I'm in India. See, I have dream. Okay, he sees himself with a celebrity, well, a particular celebrity female or female celebrity. But he no marry. Business is not going on well. Tell her to send her picture and her name. A guy. Her dark side oh. will tell the reason why such is going on here in life. Okay. <clears throat> so how can one? Co okay. So someone said, how can one connect with the gods? From the father's side, if you are far away from home. See ya. Hello? No. Hello? Hello? You welcome. Hello? You welcome. Hello? Yeah, you welcome to the Kama Royal Palace. How may we help Hello. you? Hello? Good evening. Good evening. Please, where are you calling from and your name? Okay, you can see her, please. Uh, one Nigeria. Okay. Uh, this one, uh, Lady Diana from Uganda. Yes. For, she's a Ugandan, but she's in Canada now. She's 35 years. They all live in Canada. The mother, father, and herself. They live in Canada. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. Good morning. Oh my God. Uh, 
<laughs> Please, when you call and the line is busy, kindly let the person finish. Thank you. Oh, everybody wants to talk to karma president. Um, one lady in uh, Ugandan lady born in Canada. She's 30, 35 years old. She said they live in Canada, and she's been been in Uganda only twice. She started having dreams that her father has been sleeping with her. So the love between her and the father, it wasn't too okay because she can't dream like this and then be loving the father. Even sometimes the father wants her to hug him, but she resents. Okay, so what happened was um, the father